and the women closest to him were some of the few who were lucky enough to see that side of him. Today we're going to be taking a look at some of the most meaningful relationships in the actor's life before he passed away. There was a really pretty girl and she asked me if I was you know, going to the audition that night. They wanted us to sing and dance. I'm like Jock from New Jersey. Well, I'm not going to sing and dance. Ray and his ex-wife, Michelle Grace, first crossed paths when she was married to another man. The pair met at a baseball game where her former husband, Mark Grace, played for the Chicago Cubs. Just a few months after they met, Michelle filed for divorce from Mark. After she split up from her ex, Grace was looking for an acting coach and she was asked to do a rap video. She called Ray and asked him whether she should do the video and he replied, Nah, you should probably have dinner with me. Smooth, Leota. Very smooth. Their new relationship faced a lot of speculation, as infidelity was in question. The Goodfellas actor set the record straight during an interview. She was married and we didn't cheat. We only started seeing each other after her and Mark were separated. After dating for about four years, Ray finally popped a big question outside a jewelry shop. The actor even cried when he proposed. How sweet is that? In 1997, the couple headed to Las Vegas to get married, and in typical Vegas fashion, they were wed by an Elvis Presley impersonator. He was 40 years old when he got married for the first time and said, I tend to do things late. It takes me a long time. After a year of marriage, the couple welcomed their first and only child, daughter Carson Leota. The actor couldn't be prouder as a father as his only daughter followed in his footsteps. When she was just two years old, she made her movie debut at this age in A Rumor of Angels, a film produced by her mom. No, you didn't hear wrong, she was just two. Her most well-known role was Anna Kate Wozniak in the television series Shades of Blue alongside her real-life dad as she played his on-screen daughter. I love that your daughter is in, in our eye line. It's yeah. so sweet. She's playing my daughter what? in the show. She is? Yeah. How sweet is that? Is that nerve-wracking? No. No? <laughs> uh, is this the best father-daughter duo to have ever graced Hollywood with their presence? We think yes. How did such a young girl manage in such a nerve-wracking industry? Her dad, of course. How old's your daughter? 20. 20. Does she have a favorite Ray Liotta movie? <laughs> no. No? So, no. <laughs> no, she's like me. She has trouble uh, saying our last name. It's really funny. <laughs> it's really true. The advice that helps her get through every little bit of anxiety and hardship is remembering what her dad told her. He taught me to do my homework, to always practice. That's how you get where you want to be. Focus and practice. Ray loved his daughter more than anything else in the world. He spoke about his little girl saying, my whole life is about her. She'll come up and visit me on set. I don't like to go too long without seeing her. Maybe a couple of weeks. I just had a period of four months at home because I decided not to do a movie so I could spend more time with her. It was all about taking her to dance classes and playing with her. In 2004, Leota and Michelle divorced after seven years together. Their little Carson was just six years old at the time. What's the hardest thing about being a single dad? Uh, I don't know, it's pretty great. You have your cake and eat it too. As for why his marriage failed, he kept it blunt. It just didn't work out. I would love to be in a relationship with the right person. That's the key, the right person. But the exes managed to keep a healthy co-parenting relationship and friendship going on after the divorce. The former couple even worked on the film Take the Lead together three years after they parted ways. And more than 13 years after their split, they seemed to be closer than ever. So close, in fact, that there was speculation that the pair were back together. The former couple was seen jewelry shopping in Beverly Hills. But how does that mean they could have potentially been back together? Well, they were walking the streets, holding hands, and looking at rings. But as it turns out, they were probably just a pair of friendly exes. Since the divorce, Leota had nothing but great things to say about Grace. She's a great woman, and thank God we're still friends. She still stays over at the house so Carson can see us together. You want to give her as much semblance of a family unit as you can when you're separated or divorced. A few years after their divorce, the Shades of Blue actor opened up about his dating life. He had a serious relationship following the divorce, but it didn't feel as equal as he would have liked. He had a few more dates over the next couple of years, but nothing really took. It was either going to happen or it wasn't, but he was hoping that it would. Probably someone who is not as career-oriented, who's more about the relationship. I talk to my friends and they all seem to get relationships that aren't right. You kind of want someone who's not at your beck and call, but loves the idea of being in a relationship and what those entail. 
being there for you. And in 2020, it seems he found just that in the arms of JC Natolo. Unlike Ray, she worked and lived outside the spotlight. She's a former hairstylist and a mother of four, who she lists as Dax, Chaz, Jade, and Joey in her Instagram bio. She also listed Leota's daughter, Carson, suggesting she and her stepdaughter have a loving relationship. Natolo had quite a rough life up until she met the actor. In 1985, her father, Stuart Woodman, was thrown in jail for hiring assassins to kill his parents, Gerald and Vera Woodman. In October of 2014, almost three decades later, her father died in prison. Also in 2000, JC's brother was involved in a fatal accident that left him with severe brain damage. She went through a difficult divorce in 2017. She finally caught a break and got another shot at love and happiness when she met Ray. This couple has a meet cute like no other. The Field of Dreams star revealed that his daughter was actually responsible for setting him up with JC. Aw, that's pretty sweet. Carson was at a party thrown by Natolo's son, Chaz, when she met his mom and decided to play matchmaker. She said, I want you to go out with my dad. I think you'd be perfect for my dad, Ray recalled. She said, well, he's an actor. And he said, she stopped right there. She said, I want nothing to do with an actress, that actor right. whatsoever. Right, right, right. Carson then told JC who her dad was, and she responded, wait a second though, isn't he like in his 60s? I'm in my 40s. But her words fell short when she met Ray. At the beginning of 2020, the couple made their red carpet debut. Although the early stages of their relationship happened during the onset of COVID-19, Leota later said that the lockdowns actually helped strengthen their romance. Luckily, I had met somebody and it brought us really, really close, to the point now where I'm engaged. I've heard that there's a lot of people whose relationship didn't work out because they were with each other so much, but she's just great. Good for them. Ten months after their red carpet debut, the Goodfellas star announced their engagement on Christmas Day in 2020. Christmas wishes do come true. I asked the love of my life to marry me, and thank God she said yes. Ray had no idea that marrying the love of his life would never happen. Unfortunately, their happy ever after was cut short when Ray Liotta unexpectedly passed away. I, like many people, uh, I'm scared shitless of dying. At age 67, he died in his sleep in the Dominican Republic, where he was working on his latest film, Dangerous Waters. Although the cause of his death has not been reported, there seems to be nothing suspicious about it. His passing left a hole in the hearts of not only his fans and the Hollywood community who lost a silver screen legend, but also in the hearts of his ex-wife, his daughter, and his fiance. JC said about his passing, My life these past couple years have been nothing but truly magical. Ray and I share a deep love that I will cherish in my heart forever. We laughed daily and were inseparable. The chemistry was wild in the best way. It was everything in the world to me, and we couldn't get enough of each other. The kind of real love that one dreams of. He was the most beautiful person inside and out that I've ever known. And even that is an understatement. Ray passed away knowing that he was loved and cherished. He also left behind three women who knew how deeply he loved and appreciated them. The family will obviously be grieving for a long time, but so will we. He left a hole in Hollywood that can never be filled. Although this is not the happiest ending, we know that time heals, and it will also bring peace to those who need it.